big concern for most ICSC class 10 students is that the physics paper did not go as per expectations. So, it has led to more pressure on them ahead of the chemistry examination on 13th of December and the biology exam on the 15th of December. So, this video is specifically on what your approach should be as far as the chemistry paper is concerned. You have a couple of days gap, you have this weekend to prepare and that should be enough time for you to do justice to the entire chemistry syllabus. You have what about six chapters to study. If you need help with the test papers, we have the entire test series for both chemistry and biology on the study with Sudhir app. Uh, if you need revision courses which include some excellent explanation videos and notes, uh, you could look at the revision courses again both for biology and chemistry. The link is in the description box. So, what should you do between now and the 13th morning? Point number one, revise every definition which is part of your chemistry syllabus. Your emphasis must be on the key points of each definition so that the direct questions don't throw you off, right? In the periodic table chapter, learn the properties thoroughly with their variation in periods and groups. For analytical chemistry, you must learn different reactions, observations, especially change in color of ions, etc. For mole concept, practice the numericals given in your textbook. For chemical bonding, learn all the examples of different bonds and their formation. For electrolysis, reactions on cathode and anode are a bit tricky and you must concentrate on ionic reactions along with their observation. The suggestion from our faculty is that stick to the syllabus stick to the reduced syllabus, look up the explanation notes put up on our chemistry revision course, they are excellent. Students who have used it have found them absolutely top class. Uh, if you are not able to, un uh, if you are unable to follow a particular concept, look at the video. Solve the test papers to see how well you are placed. You should do it preferably from Saturday night onwards through the first half of Sunday and devote the second half of Sunday to go back to your textbook oblique notes okay so that that's a final revision before you take the examination on the morning of the 13th of december in case if your chemistry is well prepared and your biology is not very well prepared and you think that time gap of one and a half days on the 13th afternoon post afternoon and on 14th may not be sufficient for you to do biology very well because in bio also chapters like genetics etc would take a lot of time so you could look at devoting two to three hours to biology on Saturday or maybe on Friday evening entirely up to you. Okay, so I hope and wish that you do justice to chemistry and biology. You don't have the excuse of saying no time because physics, unfortunately, you do not have a day's gap for both chemistry and biology. You have the gap. So make full use of the gap. Nothing is lost. Nothing is lost people come back from nothing to become a winner. So don't keep thinking about what has happened in the past. Physics is history. Now look at chemistry and biology, which is your future. Okay. And that's how you should do. People become a hero from a zero. Okay. And you, none of you is a zero. Okay. Physics could have been better, but since it has not been better, you get the opportunity to make up in the entire science total with chemistry and biology. So go out there express yourself, make your hard work count. Thank you very much for watching. All the best to you.